Okay, here is a rundown of the top 10 power tools I would recommend if you're setting up a woodwork workshop. Bear in mind that successful woodworking embraces both power and hand tools. And I'm going to shock you by starting first with one I purchased second hand in 1973, a radial arm saw. So coming in at number 10, this is a fantastically versatile tool for ripping, cross-cutting, mitering and grooving. And this very machine I still use today. Some people complain about the accuracy of a radial arm saw, but if you set it up correctly, it's just fine. You get the final accuracy um, when you dress the wood afterwards. One novel feature is surface skimming, especially on end grains. Now this tool may seem a luxury, but I would be lost without mine, so at number 9 my choice is this little drum sander. You can use normal paperback 4 inch wide abrasive sheet, very simple, very accurate, but don't be tempted to use it as a thicknesser. Ok, at number 8 is an impact driver. It combines a hammer action with a rotary motion and speeds up the most obstinate and large screws. At number seven is an orbital sander and is a low cost way of sanding panels flat and you can also do gentle concave and convex surfaces. Just work through the grades of aluminium oxide paper. Coming in at number six is the biscuit jointer. It's a very quick and efficient system of jointing frameworks and carcasses. In fact, if you can afford it, I would go one step further and invest in a Festool domino system with its substantial inserts that serve as loose tenons. At number five is the mighty jigsaw. It comes into its own when a board material is too large to fit onto a machine for cutting. So you take the tool to the wood. The advantage of this tool is you can cut both straight and curved lines and when fitted with a metal cutting blade is capable of very fine work that's quicker than other methods. At number four is the drill, and it's a difficult choice between a mains power drill that has a 43mm collar and that will take attachments, or the hugely convenient cordless drill, which today of course means lithium powered. This might be considered the number one tool, but I'm ranking it here for a reason, and you might have already guessed what I'm ranking as power tool number one. But for speed, the drill is vital for making holes and screwing the screws in. At number three we're getting down to the nitty-gritty of useful woodworking and before you say this isn't a power tool it's a machine let me tell you for many years I survived with a planar thickness of small enough to carry under my arm so a small a six inch or eight inch planar thickness is highly accurate it takes up little workshop space and it's portable. So coming in at my number two is the bandsaw a gentle giant it cuts straight and curved work and in my workshop I have several bandsaws ranging from a small one to a large one used for deep cutting. It's more efficient than a circular saw with, with a much narrower saw curve. It's much quieter and it spews out less debris. With practice it is actually as quick as a circular saw. Well, coming in at number one has to be the portable plunging router which I dubbed in my 1989 book as being the most versatile woodworking tool in the world. It will do what most other tools can do, including drilling, surfacing and end skimming, and of course jointing and shaping. It will do what some other tools cannot do, and also can do it more accurately. But I did not say it was better than all other power tools or hand tools for some specific tasks. An example is the CNC router creates enormous waste when cutting through a board as compared to sawing it. Well this is my choice for the top 10 tools and I didn't include the lathe that gives endless fun and is easy to master and could be a simple attachment to the drill. Please make sure to watch my top 10 hand tools and my top 10 woodworking devices. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.